Now, if the press is a, a censoring organization, um, tell me how that works. Is the, you, you're not suggesting that um, proprietors phone one another up no. or that many journalists get their copy spiked, as we say? It's um, actually Orwell, <coughs> you may recall, has an essay called Literary Censorship in England, which was supposed to be the introduction to Animal Farm, except that it never appeared in which he points out, look, I'm writing about a totalitarian society, but in free democratic England, it's not all that different. And then he says uh, uh, unpopular ideas can be silenced without any force. And then how, he, how he gives, two he gives a two-sentence response, which is not very profound, but captures it. He says two reasons. First, the press is owned by wealthy men who have every interest in not having certain things appear. But second, the whole educational system from the beginning on through just gets you to understand that there are certain things you just don't say. Well, spelling these things out, that's perfectly correct. I mean, there, it's the first sentence is what we expand this on. Is, this is what I don't get, because it, it suggests that, I mean, I'm a journalist, people like me are self-censoring. No, not right. self-censoring. Uh, there's a filtering system that starts in kindergarten and goes all the way through. Uh, and it it's not, doesn't work 100%, but it's pretty effective. Uh, it selects for obedience and subordination, uh, and especially, I think that so, so, so stroppy people won't make it to positions be of influence. Behavior problems, or you know, if you read uh, applications to a graduate school, you see that people will tell you he's not uh, <coughs> doesn't get along too well with his colleagues. You, you know how to interpret those things. I, I, I'm just interested in this because <coughs> I was brought up like a lot of people, um, probably post Watergate film and so on to believe that journalism was a crusading uh, craft and that there were a lot of um, disputatious, stroppy, difficult people in journalism. And I have to say, I think I know some of them. Well, I know some of the best and best known investigative reporters in the United States. I won't mention names because I don't want to, whose attitude toward the media is much more cynical than mine. In fact, <coughs> they regard the media as a sham.